This video will demonstrate comparing revisions of a project file in order to create a change order report. I have the project selected here in the Project Explorer and uh, I've marked it as accepted. So one of the first things you want to do is um, lock down this revision of the project, revision zero, as your as sold. So to do that, go to revisions, create a revision. And here I'm just going to make a note on this as sold. Hit OK. Now that has been saved as a revision. You can view it here. It is a read only at this point, and um, it's for comparison purposes. So um, you can see right here that this has gone to revision one. Now you would open this up and make the changes directly in this project file. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to launch it in Visio since I have a drawing. We'll say the scenario here is that the client contacts you and um, tells you they want to remove one camera and then they want to add two more to another location. So that's what we're going to do in this uh, example here. Now here, um, when the Visio interface opens, you'll see that the Visio drawings are back here and then on top is your uh, project editor screen. And since I'm on a single monitor, I'm going to go ahead and dock this over to the left hand side and then dock Visio over to the right hand side. And I'm just going to quickly go in here and make these changes. Uh, this is the camera that uh, the client wanted removed. So what I'm going to do is just real quickly right click, go to D tools and say find in project editor. There it found the part that I'm looking for right here. And um, while it's highlighted, you can uh, you know right click and delete it. Control delete will also work. And um, it's warning me that it's going to delete the accessories to the wires for that. We'll choose OK. And you'll notice it's been removed from the project file. It's also been removed uh, from the drawing over here. And let me just go ahead and come up here and now do the other change. They wanted two more of these cameras here on the outside of the house. So once again, first I'm just going to easily find this over in the project editor. It happens to be right here. And we'll go ahead and right click this and clone it. We're going to keep it in the same location because it's the exterior wall there. And I'm going to put two more of them. Choose OK. And the cameras and the accessories have been added here to the project file. Now, I'm not going to go ahead and draw those right now. In fact, I'm just going to go ahead and save the project file and close out of it. So I've made the changes that were requested and we'll go ahead and close out of here. And back here in the grid, you can see that the price has changed because we've made adjustments. Now you're going to want to go ahead and compare these, the whole point of this video. So click compare and you can see here that uh, I've got both of them selected. There's the Rev Zero here, which is the as sold. This is the current one, which is uh, revision one. And I want to compare these two. Um, now you can compare any number, um, or I should say, two revisions at any time for any number of revisions here. If there were 10 revisions, I could compare, you know, uh, nine with five to see the changes that took place between those revisions. So right now, um, I'm going to click compare. And this is going to pull up a form uh, called the Project Compare Editor. And what it's showing me is what was removed from the job and uh, what was added. That's what these little icons represent. And you can see that up here. You have filters if you want to change um, status on any of these. Um, you can accept changes here or reject them. By default, they're all accepted. But again, you'll probably have to present the change order first, which is um, kind of the point of this. So let's go to reports. And you'll see here, now you can run any report you want against this um, delta, if you will, the difference between the two revisions. But we also have a specific change order report created here that you can run and we could say maybe do this one by location and we'll just take a look at what this generates here. It shows um, what was removed, what was added, and on the last page a comparison 